Hello what's up everyone. For this image I'm going to restore a lot of detail from the darker areas. Also I want to apply a very dreamy look on this image. That means there will be a lot of glow and softness. But overall I want to keep the natural colors and just work with those green and blue tones. The raw adjustments will be done in Adobe Lightroom while I'm doing the final editing part in Adobe Photoshop and probably I'm going to use the Nick Collection plugin as well. So let's jump into the editing. Here we are in Lightroom. Let's first go all the way down to the lens corrections and just activate those two settings real quick. Then I'm going back to the top and for the profile I want to choose Adobe Standard. You can see this will already brighten up the darkest parts of the image and it also does reduce the contrast which I prefer for the dreamy look I'm aiming for. Now the white balance seems to be a little off. I think the green yellowish tones are too dominant so let's just drop the temperature. Of course I don't want to make it look too blue but, but this should be good. Oh by the way of course you can already see I have cropped the image since the very top was way too overexposed and I don't think this part was that interesting at all. So yeah, here you can see the cropped image, but let's continue with the basic adjustments. Right away, of course, the photo is way too dark, but we can simply fix that by pushing the exposure. Now when we take a look at the histogram, we can see there are some overexposed areas and some underexposed areas still left in the image. So let's fix those two parts. First of course I can simply drop the highlights to fix overexposure. Now we do have some more room left to the right side of the histogram. That means I can increase the whites and this way add some more brightness and contrast to the image. So this should be pretty good. As mentioned earlier, there is some underexposure going on. Let's fix that by simply increasing the blacks. This will also lessen the contrast some more, but that will actually look good for a dreamy soft look. All right. Now let's work on the presence of the image. First, I want to add some texture, which will just give everything some more sharpness. Okay, then I'm dropping the dehaze, which will just add some more kind of atmospheric haze to the image. Again, this works pretty well for a dreamy look, in my opinion. And finally, let's drop the vibrance a little bit. All right, that looks pretty awesome already. Then let's do the local adjustments. And here I have applied the radial filter for the top part of the image. And that's because I want to add some subtle glow coming down from this bright sky. So let's just increase the blacks and decrease the dehaze. And here we have the glow effect already. Now I actually did apply a brush over the trees here, but I sadly forgot to reset it before I started to record this video. Here you can see the areas affected by the brush effect and that's because I wanted to make those trees a little brighter. You can see I have slightly increased exposure and I also added detail by increasing texture and clarity on those trees. So that's it for the local adjustments. Let's continue with the color grading. And there's not much going on since the colors do look pretty nice already. But in the saturation tab I just want to slightly drop the yellow saturation and instead boost the green tones. Okay, then for the split toning I'm just working on the mid-tones and I'm going to use this to kind of get rid of the color cast which is going on right now. So let's apply a coat color and maybe boost the saturation just some more. You can see it's a subtle change, but it did fix the yellow color cast. Okay, then let's sharpen the image. 
And now let's do the final editing in Photoshop. First off, I want to clean up the image and just in case I mess something up, I want to duplicate that background layer by hitting Ctrl J. Now I am simply grabbing the spot healing brush, zoom in a little bit and let's get rid of those branches first. Okay, looks good to me. Then I think I need to add a little more contrast. And for this reason, I'm simply going to apply a curves adjustment layer and add a subtle S curve to the image. That looks nice. I just want to yeah, make use of the layer mask and mask out the sky since there it's gotten a little too bright in my opinion. So with a black brush, I'm just painting over the sprite part here. Right, nice. Now let's enhance this glow effect and the sky a little more. For this reason, let's apply a new layer and switch the blending mode to soft light. Again, I'm grabbing the brush tool, but this time use white as the foreground color. Also, I'm making sure to drop the opacity, otherwise this glow effect would be too strong. And let's make the brush big and soft and just Carefully brush over this bright area. All right, then let's just merge all those layers by selecting them and hitting Ctrl E. Let's take a look at the Nick Collection plugin. Right away, I want to apply the classical soft focus with the second diffusion method, since this applies this very cool dreamy look by making everything just a little softer. So let's apply it like this. As you can see, that's a very strong effect and I don't want to have this over the whole image, so I'm applying a layer mask. Use the brush tool with the foreground color set to black so I can erase parts of this effect. And now let's brush over the foreground and maybe here on the left side and maybe also a little over the trees. That looks much, much better already. Then again, I'm merging those two layers. At this point, I think the shot gets a little too dark. So I'm using another curves adjustment layer and just bring up the brightness of this shot. Okay, again, I'm using the layer mask of the adjustment layer and erase parts of it like the sky, which is now way too overexposed. and the center part in general. Okay, nice. I still think I want to brighten up certain areas, so I'm applying a new layer and switch the blending mode to overlay. Since I want to brighten up areas, I'm going to use white as the brush color. Again, I'm dropping the brush opacity, since otherwise this would end up too strong. And now I'm just brushing over a few areas to make them brighter. Okay, now I think I need to drop the opacity of this layer right here. And that's looking pretty solid. Then again, I'm merging everything. And let's take another look at the Nicolash plugin. And here, let's go with the tonal contrast filter. Before I start, I'm resetting the settings since they are way over the top. For this photo, I just want to boost the midtones, which will give me some nice detail. Again, on this one, you need to be careful. That's a very subtle change, but that should be enough. Okay, nice. And at this point, I'm going to stop the editing to not overdo it. I hope this was interesting and helpful. Like always, if you have questions left, feel free to ask in the comments. And thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you.